the United States government was like, we're not paying you until the, in no foreseeable future will you be getting this money. This week in history, the Great Depression, 1932. In the face of economic hardship, 12,000 to 15,000 World War I veterans, led by former Sergeant Walter W. Waters, march on Washington, D.C. They demand adjusted compensation certificates, or bonuses, that Congress had approved in 1924, but not scheduled for full payment until 1945. Protests and riots soon break out throughout the nation's capital, spurring President Herbert Hoover to send in the U.S. Army, led by Douglas MacArthur, to disperse the protesting veterans and drive them out by force. Unfortunately, this is not the first time in our nation's history where this has happened. During the Revolutionary War, the Continental Congress faced a similar issue where militiamen were not getting paid, and after their service terms were up, they would just simply walk out of camp. Be sure to like and subscribe, and check out our new HistoryNet videos at the link below.